Hi there, this is Matt Brown. Hope you're having a good day. Today, I'm gonna start a new series of videos on the tools that I use in my everyday work as a hardware security researcher and reverse engineering, different electronics. So without further ado, I'm going to jump over to my desk and discuss the first tool that will be in this video series. Here we go. So I've got to start here. I've got to start with my trusty soldering iron and hot air rework station in this first video. So let's start with a soldering iron because I have fallen in love with this Hacko unit. There's maybe one thing, uh, a couple things that I don't like about it, uh, which I will highlight in this video, but overall this unit, bang for its buck, is by and away better than anything that I have worked with in the past. So uh, you can see here I have, uh, yes, this is the Hacko FX951 soldering unit. And I have in here right now the standard sized uh, solder pencil. Um, and then one, one nice feature uh, about this unit, it's, uh, it's on, uh, so I'm not going to switch it out right now, but these, uh, these solder tips are interchangeable. It's not fixed like some units that I've worked with in the past. It's not fixed to the soldering pencil itself. So as I start to uh, burn up uh, this tip by uh, doing all sorts of things that I shouldn't do with it, uh, it's hard to see, the light's terrible, but yeah, I've, I've kind of abused uh, this tip. Uh, I really only use the conical one. Uh, all these ones over here are just uh, nice and nice and fresh, but, uh, but I just keep using that one. So, a couple downsides. So, one is this stupid key that I have it on a report from Lewis Rossman that the point of this key is to lock out the ability to change the temperature. So, uh, and that's for actually in factory settings where uh, they don't want workers to be able to like uh, increase the temperature on their soldering iron so they can get their work done faster. Uh, so you can see here, I can't actually change the, uh, I can't change the temperature on the iron until I put this key in and then it will, it will change for me. And there's the beep to tell me that it has hit the heat level that it wants to be at. So that is one annoying part of working with this unit. Uh, the other thing that I would change is that there is, uh, if I had the money to shell out for it, there is a unit that allows you to connect two Hacko soldering pencils at once. And the reason why that would be nice is because of this right here. This is the Hacko, uh, let me get the model number for everyone who's watching this video, the FM2032. This is a micro soldering pencil in a similar fashion. These tips are removable and replaceable, uh, which is really nice for the longevity of this pencil because uh, I don't know the price on it, but it's... It's not the cheapest thing ever, but uh, this is incredibly important for working with really small components. And I'm actually going to jump under the microscope and show you what the difference is between a standard size pencil when you're dealing with some really small uh, pads, soldering on a really small pads on a circuit board, and this micro pencil. Um, so let's go look at my microscope. And we will take a look at that. Uh, let's get zoomed out here to start with. And uh, right here, I've got a, a Raspberry Pi Pico that I've been uh, working with. Gonna maybe have some videos on, on some projects that involve this later. But, uh, so I bought the cheap model that doesn't have any of uh, these, these pins that come pre-attached. So I'm going to just go ahead and attach some of, some of those myself. So uh, I will use the regular uh, soldering pencil for this work. Uh, you can see that oh, I'm not in focus. Let me let me let me try to let me try to get this in focus for all of you watching. 
watching. No, that's the wrong way. There we go. That's much better. So now you can see that this, for this type of a job, uh, the standard size soldering pencil is going to get the job done. I didn't have this uh, unit heated up before this, and so you, ha you can see this really bad solder job that I'm doing here. But we still managed to uh, <laughs> kind of make that work. All right, let's try to get this one. Wow, this is terrible, actually. There we go. That's a decent solder joint. This one is not over here. <laughs> okay, I'm not even going to attempt uh, that ground pin in the middle there. This is, uh, yeah, this is uh, not to be, uh, to be taken uh, as a, a knock against the soldering iron. That's just my terrible soldering job right there. So, uh, but what if we wanted to solder something much, much smaller? Like, let's say we wanted to attach to a pin on this SOC here. Okay, so now you can see that, let me try to get as much solder off as that as I can. If I hold the regular size soldering pencil up to here and I try to, I try to touch one of these, one of these pins, one of these pads here on the side of this chip, that's just not going to happen. Uh, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to plug in this soldering iron, but I'm just want to, I just want to show you how that compares to the micro pencil. So here's the micro pencil. See, it's, it's got a fine enough of a tip that I can, I can t make good contact. Again, this pencil is not hot, so it's not gonna heat up that solder. But I can make good contact with that solder ball there without uh, interfering with the package on our silicon there. So that is just something that I really love about this HACO unit. The, the, the one HACO unit I can switch out between my regular size soldering pencil and the micro pencil and one unit. Again, would it be nice to have the more expensive uh, HACO unit that I can have two of these plugged in at one time, but the expense right now, it just makes it so that I'm going to live with plugging, unplugging and plugging in uh, the different irons when I need them. So that is just a little bit about my soldering iron. And next, we're going to talk about hot air. So before I go and show you my specific hot air unit, I, I just spent a bunch of time talking about how I love my Hacko soldering iron. My hot air station, it's not my favorite, but hot air stations, they're they're not as specific of a tool uh, as as fine of a tool as a soldering iron is. At the end of the day, they're just blowing hot air at something. And you can try to say that you know some have better temperature control than others, but if I can just change how much airflow I'm sending out of a unit, or if I can hold it at a different distance away from the thing that I'm working with, well, then I can probably get the same result out of that unit. But with that said, I'll go over to the desk and show you the unit I have. This is a cheaper unit, so I definitely paid a lot more for my soldering station, and I would suggest you do as well. You should put more money into your soldering station than you do your, your hot air rework station. So uh, the way this station works is we, we power it on, and we can try to see the readout here. So it heats up. Uh, this is in Celsius, which is uh, another reason why I don't like this unit. But uh, I've worked with a few different uh, hot air units before. Um, but yeah, so now I've got that. I have airflow control on this knob. I pretty much always leave it right there at about five and a half. Uh, that just works for me. 
And then I can, on the fly, adjust the temperature of the air that's coming out. Uh, I will usually always just leave it on the same level of heat. And if I need less heat, if I'm, you know, let's say I'm this, I'm this close to something and I need it to not be as hot, well, I just back the air away. I don't really need to come over here and fiddle with my hot air unit. I can really do a lot more with just how I'm holding the hot air relative to a component. So uh, the other thing that this has is this has a magnetic sensor. So it'll automatically, when it gets put into uh, the, the holder there on the side, it will slowly start to bring, it will bring the temperature down, but it keeps the, the airflow on because that actually helps it cool down faster uh, with air flowing, uh, just cold air flowing out of the hot air unit. So that is my hot air rework station and my soldering iron. So I uh, hope this has been a helpful video. I'm going to be producing a series of these videos just going through the various tools that I have here over on my desk that I use every day. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me down in the comments what types of tools you have. If you have a soldering station, a hot air rework station that you like, that you think is better, I would love to hear about it. Thank you everyone and have a great day.